Good evening and welcome to the final of the Medaya Light Men's Puerto Rico Open 2023 from the Convention Centre here in San Juan. We started with 128 players, just two remain playing for that trophy you see in front of you there. Roland Garcia and Conrad Musician. It's still a race to two, so best of three sets with a possible shootout in the final deciding set. It's cool shot, calling the shots with me in the booth, is Jim White. Yeah, best seat in the house as always, Mark. Happy to be here, a full house. This is the final, so there's no more outside tables for the men's division, and uh, they're all coming in to watch this one. S slight contrast in styles for me. Conrad, in your picture now, considerably younger, about 15 years younger, but very talented, great shot maker, and very aggressively attacking. Whereas, by contrast, Roland Garcia, tactical kicks unbelievably well. Both these guys can jump. You've got the full meal deal in terms of arsenal tool, trust me. So, this is going to be exciting. Buckle in, folks. This is going to be a good one. Hold on to your hats. All on the break, nine in the side. Has he got a look at that one, Jim? Well, if not, a possible kick. Two's surrounded by the six and the seven there, so that's not really in the open for them. But needless to say, early doors mean nerves. So it's going to take a little while for those nerves to settle. I think it's fair to say that you wouldn't have predicted these two in the final. Bearing in mind the semi-finals, Josh Villa, of course, went down to Roland Garcia and Conrad Musician, musician overcame Loisha Schapp, who really is the man, or was the man in form. Yeah, your first sign of maybe early nerves right there. Tried to slow roll that one, and he had a pocket and misjudged it. Yeah, surprised with the filler result after he took out Fedor Gorst. After losing the first set to Fedor, he beat him 4-1, 4-1 in lightning style. And he looked like the informed player to beat, didn't he? But isn't that, isn't that the nature of pool? Yeah, well, Joshua never missed a ball in the semi-final. Not one ball did he miss, and he missed two in the semi-final, and that was the difference. And this is the man right here that Mark is alluding to. You know, not the best known of the Filipinos, but he's been knocking on the door for a little while. And his route to this final beat Steve Lillis, the trick shot man in the first round. Beda al Wahadi, Tyler Steyer, Demetrius Lucatus, Mikel Ogard, and Mario He. And of course, Josh Villa in that semi that we spoke about. Yeah, it'll be very nice for either player to get that first rack under their belt. Still two out of three in terms of sets, races to four. If we get to three, three in the second set, sorry, the third set, wow, then the shootout. And we've had our fair share of shootouts, haven't we? Yeah, we've had a few this tournament. Remember they're playing for the first prize, $37,500. Runner up, not too shabby, 17 and a half. That's what's on offer. So they're playing for 20 grand out there right now. 125,000 the total purse. And both of these guys are going to be involved in the team play, which will be taking place a little later tonight, too. Now, 300,000 the total purse in the team event here in Puerto Rico this year. Yeah, and there's some real tasty matchups as well on this table after the final 9 p.m. tonight. You've got Team Philippines, so Garcia will be back on this table. It's them against Team Spain, and it's simple as this. Loser goes home, the winner goes through to the last eight, and Team GB will be in action on table two. They'll be up against Team Poland, and it's more or less the same kind of thing needed there. 
just cut and win they go through just cut that a little too thick sorry mark and right. you know cue ball just slithered on a little too far behind the 10 so short cue comes out free from the final John Lehman watching over things caught the 10 ball so it's ball in hand yeah that's going to be costly I mean, 310 are in very close proximity, and Roland's coming to have a look at that right away. Everything's in the open, but he may want the real quick path to the finish line here, and sure enough, with ball in hand, he's lining up that 310 to open his account in this men's final. Maybe the layout of the balls has got something to do with this, the six and the seven, maybe just a little bit. Could present a little problem. Wow. I think you'll regret it now, though, Jim. Yeah, you'll, you can color me surprised. This, with ball in hand, this was not a real difficult shot. Certainly not for these guys. Conrad has to be delighted. Not only is he not one rack down, he's at the table with a chance. And you know his mission, Mark. He wants to burn the memory of that missed 310 combination into Roland's brain. Five near the bottom corner. The six is actually open. Seven in close proximity to the six. So, again, the only thing standing between Conrad Musician right now and Iraq win are his nerves. With Conrad. Does end up taking this wreck. As you said, it will be a hard pill to swallow for Roland. But on the other hand, if it doesn't cost him the wreck, we'll soon forget about it. Can't see what's going to save him here, though, Jim. This looks pretty straightforward. Draw back for the seven into the same pocket. Oh, he's run through short side. Keeping it simple. Yeah, always a formula for success, isn't it? Keeping it simple, limiting the movement of the cue ball. Nice angle on this. Stun over to the other side of the table. It's going to be first blood to the man from Poland. Poland. I like to call it Poland. There's enough of a there, Jim. Yes, for sure. One nil to Conrad. Roland will be left to think about that 310. The balls were all there. He didn't have to go at the 310. But it really wasn't that difficult. Yeah, and we've already mentioned the teams that will be taking place tonight at 9 p.m. We're going to have two tables live, as we said. There's also the women's medalla like Puerto Rico open going on as well. They're down to the last 16. They're all in action now. And if you'd like to watch any of those games, they're all available on kazoom.com. Go there, register your name and find out how you can watch those for a, a small fee. Yeah, full field would have been 128 in the men's division. 106 actually made their way here to compete for the crown. From all over the world. Second year at San Juan has welcomed all these talented players. And a dry break. Don't know whether or not that two is available past the eight. That's the first thing that Roland's looking at. Well, I'm right behind it, Jim. And yes, it is. How does he get to it, though? Yeah, true enough. He's got a wall of colors there that he's got to try and negotiate, but boy, I'll tell you, the camera angle, Mark, belies whether or not that two goes past the eight into the corner. It sure doesn't look like it. I wouldn't trust my eyes, Jim, not from this distance. I'll tell you what was interesting is in the last match, the semifinal where Conrad ended up beating Aloysius Yap, there was one particular shot that Yap played a five ball. Oh, he's a, he's a little unlucky, that three staying on the table. 
so we might never know whether that two passed or not. But our camera angle zoomed right in, and we could see the five wouldn't go. Yap tried it anyway, and he missed it. I wish we could zoom in on this two ball. John Lee's having a look now as well. Rowland's having another look. I might never know how bad my eyes are. Safety, no other choice. Honestly done. So taking out the one rail. Yeah, that was the important aspect of this shot to try and eliminate the easy hit. I don't know whether he's done it or not. Oh, he's going between the ten and the six here. Might get some cover as well if this two ball holds up. It hasn't, it's on. Well, now a real chance for Roland. Just got to get the cue ball back into an area where he's got a window to that three. Does play with a lot of spin, doesn't he, Roland? Yeah, when I see him play, I mean, he, he has so many mannerisms that are reminiscent of Bata Reyes. And the way he is around the table, I mean, his, his size reminds me a lot of Jose Perica. It's almost like someone took the two of them, slapped them together, and this is what they got. overrun that it got a huge amount of spin on that cue ball once again he's lost the cue ball you might see the jump stick here yeah a few early errors from Garcia's probably made more mistakes already in this match than he did in the semi-final It's a bit of luck. He hasn't got it. Another opportunity. We see the effort from Roland here. Now the six doesn't go by the ten. That means he had to slow roll this to hold for the six. And do another pocket. Top left. Not easy. Into a blind pocket. His line of sight is going to be looking away from the target. Yeah, very easy to let your eyes wander, isn't it? In these shots, you have to stay still. Trust your judgment. Now he's looking top right. Probably affords better position to the seven. Either one. Equally awkward. What a great shot this is. Look at this. He's gone round three rails. Needs it to hold up. Very creative, isn't he? Let that cue out. Showed a lot of courage to play that shot. But he's overhit it. Now he can roll that cue ball up to the nine if he wants to. Yeah, he wants to attack. He's going all out. Side bank. Man with the plan. Oh, will he regret it? Might have, uh, he's left a, it's a thin one, Jim. Yeah, this man's happy to be back at the table. He doesn't mess around, does he? He's quick, fast around the table, very fidgety. Maybe 
maybe the English just pushing the cue ball into the seven there, thick. Offers his hand to apologize. Still kind of trying to shake out the cobwebs. And it's pretty cold in this arena. Just containing safety. Could push the seven up by the eight here. Cue ball back behind the ten. Look out. Oh, what a mistake. Well, that is the second very poor miscalculation from Roland Garcia. The first in the 2-10 combination he attempted and missed, and this is inexcusable. He didn't get enough left-hand spin on it, did he? He was trying to hit this back rail. Nevertheless, a chance to take a 2-0 lead. And both of these players have played a lot of these pro billiard series, Jim, and they're yet to win one of these, both of them. So it's kind of nice, you know, to see them both in the final, battling it out. Unfortunately, one of them still won't have a pro billiard series title at the end of this. Conrad, the benefactor of the mistakes given him from Roland. Can either go high ball here, high right, or draw back and see where he goes. Just going high. Spin around three cushions. This looks just about perfect. Great shot. Yeah, he'd love to see one like this to close it out, wouldn't he? But that's 2 nothing now. And in each rack, Roland Garcia has had an, at least one good chance to secure the rack. Halfway to the first set then, the man from Poland. And on the outer tables, let's just run through these matches in case you want to go and watch one of these on Kazoom.com. We've got Rublin Armin up against Yuki Hiroguchi. Way to Chen, the wave. She's taken an early lead against Sarah Rocker, 1 0. Amber Chen is up against Jasmine Ocean. Jasmine taking the first rack there. Sao Sao from South Korea. And Cheska Centino, the current world women's 10 ball champion, their level at 1 1. Alison Fisher is 1 0 up against Taiwanese Wan Ling Wang. Christina to catch is 2 0 up against Chao Che Yu. Another pole in action, Olivia Zaluska against Solgaraila. And Kelly Fisher is 1-0 up against Christina Zlateva. Back to this one. Made a ball on the break, the three in the side. Cast your expert eye, Jim, across this table and tell us Conrad surveying the situation. Nothing but a push. Yeah, he'll probably get this one back yeah, in, a hurry, in a hurry. In a hurry. As soon as uh, as soon as Conrad hits it, he's thought, "I've hit that wrong. I didn't mean that. Can I have it again?" Let me see. Garcia putting the powder on the composite shaft. You don't often see that, do you? Well, Not with the composite shafts. Yeah, I read that it's a bad thing to do. It's almost a habit, I think, for a lot of the Filipinos. They've just got a little of the powder on the table and they just put a little in their in their cueing hand and just wipe it on the shaft. Well, Fedor Gorst puts it on his chin now. Have you seen that? Has it on his chin? I need to bring out a glove, Jim, for his chin. He's misjudged that shot. Oh, oh, and he's opened up the three as well. It's all gone wrong in that shot. So a real chance for Roland to open his account in the final of Medaille Light. Puerto Rico open. Reigning champion still is 
Carlo Biardo, so maybe he's just handing it over to another Filipino. Well, they're teammates, aren't they? It could be a big payday for Roland. 40,000 each, 120 to the team, 40,000 each to the players who lift the team trophy later on today. Yeah. You could add that to this, 77,500. That's not bad, is it? The team championship individually is more than the singles event here. That's how big the world team event is. Nicely done, Will Karen there. He's just finished dead straight on this, but I can't, it's not too much of a problem, I don't think, with a six ball nearby. Yeah, no danger at all. Carpet looks like a Picasso painting, doesn't it? Artist on the table at the moment. Attention, what do you think, Roland Garcia said when I said congratulations on his win? Lucky. Typical. I got lucky. <laughs> That's the Efren Reyes part of him. If there was anyone more humble than the great Efren Reyes. I don't know him. He really is God, and to a certain extent, a father figure to a lot of these, and the reason that they took up Paul Jim. He's uh, pulled one back, 2-1. In terms of Fargo rates, not too much between these two. Roland just in front, 807. To Conrad Musician, 791. So not a big disparity. Conrad came through slightly the more difficult route. Beat Jason Cruz in the first round, then lost to Alex Pagulayan. So was sent to the B side where he beat Moritz Neuhausen, the new sensation from Germany, who will be representing Team Germany tonight, along with Josh Filler and Pia Filler. Sullivan Clark, the New Zealander, was his next victim, and then Hayato Hijikata, and then Ho Jun Kwan from South Korea. And in the semi final, he beat the man in form, Aloysius Yap. So, Roland to break. Breaking more or less centrally, Jim. We're trying to make the five, so the six or the five in the in the sides. There goes the six, very close. Eight went close as well. Nothing doing though. Yeah, push is going to be tricky. Push to a jump, maybe. Yeah. For the left hander though, Jim, he won't be able to jump here, Roland. So it might be a good idea here. Look, he's seen if he's can, if Garcia can jump that right hand. Did you just see how what he did there? That's what's in his mind. Very smart. Yeah, he knew. Roland knew exactly <laughs> what he's... He can't get to this, and he's not very tall either. He doesn't... <laughs> does he want to give it back? That yeah. is such a smart move there by Conrad. It really is. He's going to have to kick at this because he's not going to give it back to Conrad because he knows exactly what he's going to do. He has to give it to him. No choice. And he knows. Wow. I know somebody that jumps behind their back. A guy called Jonas Ottenen, a man from Finland, home held the world record for jumping behind his back. Oh, and a little bump there. He's okay. He's on this two. Three over the side pocket. Yeah, that, that, was, work, Jim. that was pretty nifty, what he did there.
Conrad. You got to tip your hat to him, don't you? 29. He'll be 30 later this month. It'd be a nice birthday present. This not far away. 28th of November, I think he was born. He's just looking there if he can just use the seven ball to just clip off, just clip off this seven ball. Didn't want to hit the three as well. Might have to bank this, Jim. Well, it's not the easiest bank. Let's see how he feels. He's going for the cut. Goes. He was up off the cue quick there, wasn't he? He had to get the tip out of the way because that cue ball was coming right back at the queue. So he had to be quick. I mean, he got a bit lucky. Look what he's done with the six. He's parked it in front of the pocket. That would have been welcoming the four. So a four six combination shouldn't be too tough. And should be pretty easy to control the four as well. His wife is watching. Melanie, I think. And his kids. These poor players are doing a lot of travelling, don't they, Jim, around the world, providing for their families. Yeah, we were actually talking about that with uh, a few of the players. And, I mean, the sacrifices they make. You know, they're spending a lot of time away from home. You know, they're not eating as well as they'd like to, long hours of play, sleeping in strange beds. The sacrifices a lot of these guys make traveling around the world, playing their sport. I bet he's missing his pork adobo and lechon. Oh, I love that. Lots of left hand spin on this. No, he's just stunning. Yeah, there's a bit of left hand gym. Pokes in the cue ball up to the eight, absolutely perfectly. Maybe a bit straight, if anything. Yeah, it is a little straighter than he would have liked. He'd like to have been able to get below that nine. Might still be able to pinch a little of this side. Force it through. And some spin on it. Yeah, this one he didn't want to be straight either. This is actually worse than the eight. These side pockets, he's going to put a lot of pace into this. And he's missed it. He was up off the shot as well. Wow, what a let off this is now. Comrade with these two balls to get on the hill. Left himself too much to do, and he had to power it into that side pocket. And I'll tell you, when you have to hit these balls at speed, these pockets shrink, Mark. And this cue came off the hand, head came up. And what a gift for Comrade Musician. Three one. The set score just keeps accepting these Christmas come early gifts and capitalizing on them. We mentioned his birthday was the 28th of November. Well, that was a real early gift, wasn't it? So first set to the pole. Roland Garcia with some uncharacteristic misses there. Just never got prime position, Jim, did he, on the, on the eight or the nine, which caused him the problems. Yeah, he's... I'll tell you what, I might have my hair like that guy there. Look, do you reckon that would suit me, Jim? A bit of a Mohican.
you could probably get some money put up to get a haircut like that, Mark. For charity, I'll kick some in. On the hill then. Good break now, the order of the day. Now the cue ball was squatted in the middle. And actually Conrad pretty happy that it got kicked into an area where it's a total eclipse to that one. Roland shakes his head. I wonder will he consider the give the jump back. He's looking at a jump. Might be doing what Comrade did to him in the last rack, pushing into a jumping situation. Conrad comes straight to the table. He's going to have a quick look at this. Now he'd give himself that. He's having a look to see what he'd be left with on the two. It's very difficult just because of the proximity of the cue ball and the one ball being so close to the side rail. If you don't jump this really accurately, could lose the cue ball off the edge of the table and he's giving it little, back. Yeah, a little bit of poker there. He was kind of shuffling his chips, wasn't he? And then threw his cards in. Yeah, I thought he was going to twist for a second and then fold it. Use your luck. Not good. Yeah, this shot's a lot better than the jump. Still doesn't really afford position to the two. Can you get back to there, Conrad, to leave yourself a bank on the two? It's certainly elevating. He'll be letting the cue out here. Yeah, just a quick wave. Just to acknowledge a good roll. After a mighty heave like that. Not to have left rolling the shot. A little unlucky. not quite got the speed down yet and I mean for him that was pretty straightforward to safety letting his opponent come to the table the clear look at the one not necessarily a, an attacking look at the one but I mean he should have been in trouble kicking at this you don't want to be leaving a full ball do you for comrade to do whatever he wishes with Okay, it might only be a safety, but at least he can control the table from here. Wow. What a potter. Did I say not necessarily an attacking look? Thank goodness he never heard me. He's still got a lot of work to do, though. Position from the two to the three, not straightforward. He was looking at the gap, wasn't he, Jim? Through there. Well, he won't be too disappointed with that. Yeah, no kidding, especially if this three goes to the corner. No. So surely he's got to defend here. Just keep that cue ball nuzzled behind the six. Well, option B, maybe roll that nine onto the five. That's what he's looking at. Just in front of the five. Anyone new to pull? You are allowed to play a deliberate foul. It will be ball in hand. 
if he goes that route. As Jim just said, he might try and tie the 9 5. Has he seen something else? One row kick. Yeah, and he's called the corner pocket. Putting some pace in this. And he's played it. Three rails. After that one ball he just knocked in, I'm sure he's be, be going at this three ball. Yeah, he's eyeing the line. <clears throat> Pardon me, he's eyeing the line. He wants that three to take now. So keep your head still. He really is a good potter. That one had all the makings of a set winner if he'd have got it. So a little bit added pressure. can Roland hold himself together because somehow he's contrived to lose a couple racks in this first set racks that he was in control of. Six ball. Turns his head to get that right eye over the cue. Just thinking the same thing, right eye dominant. Do you remember a snooker player called Graham Miles? His head was almost right angled to the cue, wasn't it? And right over the edge of the queue, his chin. Pop Black, that was the program that got me interested in Q Sports. Back in 1969, black and white, I watched it in as well. There you go, yes, I am that old. run back if nothing else lets Conrad know that he's more than capable to punish those misses. Conrad had a chance at a long one and missed it and Roland dishes up to hang on in this first set. 3-2 still to Musician. Let's run through some scores from the women's Puerto Rico Open. Rublin Armit from the Philippines going well. She's 3-0 up against Yuki here at Gucci, another Filipino, Cheska Centeno, is level 3-3 with Seo Seo. Alison Fisher is 1-1 with Wang Ling Wang. Christina Takach is 3-2 up against Chao Che Yu, the previous World 10 ball and 9 ball champion. And Kelly Fisher is 2-1 over Christina Zleteva. John Lehman has racked the balls. Roland Garcia will break them. Going back to the side, Jim, for the break. Be trying to make the one side pocket. Finished low. Nothing doing. And look at this one. And look at all of the balls. Well, something doing for Conrad. Big chance. Position from the one to the two. Might be the key shot in the rack because the three and four and five are all in the same area of the table and every single ball has a pocket available. Yeah, this was a nice effort. Is he hard enough? 
has just made the position to the three just that slightly more difficult now. Would love to have come another six inches, wouldn't he, Jim? Yeah, that would have made it straightforward. Well, I wonder. He's looking for the path. If he can get that cue ball between the five and the eight, around the angles, back out towards the three. Intelligent little shot there. Yeah, I don't mind that at all, Mark. Kind of took what the table offered. He knew he was going to have something on the three. And now in prime position. Four into the same pocket as he just made the three. Five waiting. So get the right side of this five. And he should be fine. He can load this up and guy either go forward or draw it back. The six wide open. Now, if he doesn't win this first set, he'll remember this visit. from Rowland. Left the one over the corner for Conrad. And he said thank you very much. Just slightly straight on this, Jim. Still a little work to do. Jim's phone's just gone off. I'm glad it's on silent, but I'd love to talk to the person who's calling him. It's Kirk Stevens, who great Canadian snooker player, used to wear the white suits, made a 147 against Jimmy White in the 1984 Benson and Hedges Masters. We'll give him a call after my... Well, I'm going to ask you to go for your phone book a little bit later on. Jim, who's the most famous person you've got in your phone book? You. <laughs> for you to 10 in and Conrad secures the opening set 4-2 in the end and again the dry break from Roland Garcia proving the difference there and opening the door for musician 1-0 Doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This temple to win the title. He is your champion. You will champion.
doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This temple to win the title. He is your champion. Welcome back to the Convention Centre here in San Juan in wonderful Puerto Rico. Jim White and myself, Mark White, are with you for the final of the Medaille Light Puerto Rico 10 ball open. And it's slight advantage, Jim, to Conrad's musician. How do you see, or how did you see the first set? Well, it was as much a case of what Roland didn't do as what Conrad did. I think Conrad pretty well did what he expected to. A few more mistakes than I expected from Roland Garcia's cue, especially in circumstances when he looked like he was going to take the rack. Oh, I'm lucky not to make the but nine or the two in the side there. He's got to be a man on a mission right now. He knows exactly what he has to do, and he's got to start getting a ball off the break because he's bringing Conrad out of his chair with a golden look at the one on numerous occasions. How has that two ball not gone in that side pocket there? The only comforting thing for Roland is the three ball has landed a little bit awkward. When I say a little bit awkward, a very big awkward. Yeah, and he's already gone out of position. Overdrew that. So containment. Musician out of position. But he's played. He hasn't got in behind it, has he? No, he hasn't. Might find himself behind the five ball here, though. A little bit of powder, Jim, that you were talking about on his table there and rubbing it on the hand. Extension <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's not that easy. It's almost impossible to play a real attacking safety from here. And just maybe a containing one. It was really, really difficult, wasn't it, to miss that nine ball? That's about as good as he could have done. Score update from the women's Puerto Rico Open. Cheska Centino from the Philippines has taken the first set against Sao Sao. What a shot. Called the three. He's looking very, very good, Conrad, isn't he? Yeah, he's making some, some real good decisions. And again, he's quick. He's very confident around the table. I just wonder if he hasn't unsettled Roland a little. Nice little shot once again. Can come round two rows. 
and we can go straight up again. Nice little angle on the five to just bump that cue ball towards the middle. Isn't it? Yeah, imperative that he leaves an angle from the eight to the nine because you can see where the nine situated doesn't go to the obvious pocket, so he's got to try and get near to drop below it to the top corner. He really doesn't want to be forced playing anything else, and he's got an angle here, so this is the key shot in the rack. Going to try and get that cue ball right over behind the nine. Not straightforward this shot, Mark. Just looking at playing over in that rail. Very, very small area. He's looking to get that cue ball. Well, Jim. Yeah, he really did. Got that cue ball nice and close to the nine. Still a long, tricky shot to the top corner. It's about as well as he could do from as he could do from where the eight was. So he didn't make a new word then. I can ask you what I could do is. <laughs> We've used a few different words this week, haven't we? Well, still my favorite. Flip a tiki bet. Well, the beat goes on for this Polish star. Musician taking the first rack of the second set in a set that would see him crowned the Puerto Rican Open 10 ball champion. And a check that probably won't quite fit into his luggage. Yeah, nor will that trophy look on your screens. Do you get the balls and the rack as well, Jim? Was it just the trophy? And the table. <laughs> and the lights above it. And we will have our trophy ceremony straight after the final finishes. Got more action for you coming later tonight. Don't forget, it's the world teams. Some big, big matches on this very table. It will be Team Philippines against Team Spain. Whoever wins that will advance. It really is an interesting format. If you haven't seen it, you do not want to miss it. We're going to know who our quarterfinals are later on. Back to this one. Conrad breaking off. First set. And the first rack in the second set. It's dry, Jim. Yeah, the break hasn't been too kind, but the biggest difference is when Conrad departs the table after the break, Roland's got nothing. Roland departs the table, Conrad's got a great look at the one. I'm sure that's what's going through his mind now. So he's got to find somewhere to push. Rail. I think he'll be going at this gym. Yeah, I think he will too. I mean, if he can knock this in, get the cue ball back down this half of the table, it will play something a little bit more aggressive on the two. That's not bad. He can just feather that two behind the three. Oh, 
advantage, Conrad. Might be playing this dead weight. Yeah, that was a tough push for Garcia. But he wishes he'd have changed his mind now on where he pushed to. He's tying something up, is he? Yeah, tying the four up with the eight. Intelligent shot. Deliberate foul, so ball in hand. We are playing three foul, though. To get one similar sort of shot, Mark, similar position. Cue ball behind the ten. Not behind the three, sorry. Yeah, and he wants to take that side cushion away. Don't know whether he's done it, but he's only got half of the two out there. John Lehman with a quick look just to confirm the cue ball won't go between the three and the rail, and it won't, not unless it's the old shrinking ball shot. I remember that one. Where you make the referee look somewhere else, isn't it? Two rails. Well, he's on two fouls. And this could be a very quick rack for Conrad. Yeah, what Conrad's thinking about now, I don't think he can play the same shot he just played because he's going to end up moving the three a little too far. And that space between the rail and the three might be there. This time he may try and leave it behind the 10. No, he's trying to get over, but I don't know whether or not there's space there. It's close, Mark. It's real close. But he's on two fouls and the referee will have warned him. And if there's a gap between three and rail, no, there must not be. This is a massive hit. Looks left -hand Rack hand saver. Sorry. He's missed it, Jim. How about that? He three fouls him to win rack number two. And again, you just wonder if Roland Garcia's decision making right now is is a little wonky. He left him the long one, and from that point on, it was an uphill struggle. So he's missing shots missing key shots at key moments, and he's not thinking straight. Yeah, I bet there's not many players three foul Roland Garcia. Well, that's for sure. He's one of the, I mean, for me, that's one of his strong suits. It's how well he kicks, but that's just how, how well Conrad musician had him, you know, glued in there. I'm just going back to that push, Jim, when he left him a long straight in one. Before I saw the book, the shot finish, I thought he was playing to the jump behind the nine. Maybe that would have been a. Well, he could have he could have played and maybe where. It might have been a jump to the one because the two, the two wasn't available. So anyway, you know, it's it's all water under the bridge now Two nothing. Musician, he's in control of this match. He's breaking better. He's thinking better. He's executing better. That's the reason he's up 2 0 in a second set, already one set ahead. Well, it's Conrad's turn this time, though, to be unlucky. But as you pointed out earlier on, Jim, he hasn't made a ball, but he hasn't left anything for Roland either. So it's more of the same. Yeah, the beat goes on. The break has not been kind to Roland Garcia at all, regardless of whether he's the one or Conrad's the one breaking. But he won't hang his head. That's the Filipino way, too. A little battle to the very end. There's no give up in any of these superstars from the Philippines. that cue ball to stop a long just off straight two 
offers no positional values to the three. So again, just trying to make it and leave himself a good safety option. And that's a good pot. From there, that's a very good pot. There's a bank on offer. Just wondering if the three passed the six. If it does, it'll be going into the nine four. Doesn't know, just playing the safety. Obviously under hit this gym. Is he okay? Yeah, I think he's more than okay. Boy, he really has he really has had Garcia's number almost from the start here. Well, we were talking about the difference in styles at the start, and you mentioned about how the safety department is Roland Garcia's really, and it's, it's turned out the other way at the moment. That's one of the very few good roles that Roland Garcia's gotten in this match so far. That was a good contact. And that cue ball nearly found the corner pocket. But still, Conrad with a chance to keep Mr. Momentum on his side. Again. Yeah, scratching his head again, and Conrad has made him do that on more than a few occasions this afternoon. Yeah, this isn't one of those matches, Mark, is it, where the guy just goes out and knocks everything in, and you feel like, well, I, I just got knocked out. This one is just a series of body punches, you know, where he's really getting beaten. And he's being made to suffer. Again, expect him to hit this. Getting it safe. Well, what a kick. What a is. shot. What a great shot. Even acknowledged by Conrad. Terrific effort. Now, is this the shot that's going to turn things around? He needed something good to happen. Yeah, an Efren-esque effort. Brilliant. Exactly as played. And that isn't exactly as played. Yeah, this could be the shot. That could remember that one, folks. Mark that one down on your scorecards. If this match turns, that may have been the shot that turned it. to put that cue ball after making three. Yeah, playing the short side. And or just try and keep keep that cue ball behind the nine. Doesn't want this going in. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that have been something? <laughs> and it's Comrade in trouble. Hit Jim exactly as intended. Yeah, it's bought him a little bit of time, if nothing else. Miss kick from musician on the three is the first time he's missed the kick in this match. That's how well he's kicked. shot. He's got to float this one in. He's got six over the side, but he's slightly hampered over that eight. Another good effort.
Jasmine Ocean has taken the first set against Amber Chen. And Kelly Fisher has also taken her first set. 4-2 over Christina Zleteva in the women's Puerto Rico Open. Remember, guys, any of those matches you wish to watch are all available on kazoom.com. down to that. Do you remember a while ago, he left himself wrong on the eight, didn't get on the nine as he wanted, missed the nine in the side. Remember that one? Okay, that, this one was a lot easier though. Very, very surprised at that. And that could be the shot which costs Roland Garcia his chance at lifting that trophy. Yeah, he'll take that one away for sure. Would have been 2-1 down and breaking. You always want to be in control of your own fate. Now he needs a bit of help. 3-0 in the second set. Set that would see Conrad being crowned the champ. A long way back now for Roland. And that will really hurt. He's missed two nine balls in this match, which have cost him dearly. Yeah, that was the first miss on an attempted pot for Roland. And what a costly one it was. Conrad running to the water machine. Don't run back with it, Conrad. You'll spill it all. comes. A well deserved sip. I wonder if that will be champagne later on or maybe on a dire light. He's earned it. Still a way to go though. The photographers gathering. Yeah, the crowd is starting to gather. They start to sense the celebration. Good break here from Conrad, and they won't be waiting long. One in the side. Two's there. Three in the open. He just needs one good positional shot from the two to the three. Need the five as well, look, Jim. Yeah, this is a chance, Mark. Not many nice. What's he done here? What has he done here? What has he done here? Almost looked like a force follow on that one. Completely changed the angle on Conrad. Like he was trying to see how the force follow kept it against the cushion. He was trying to get that back towards the middle of the table. I mean, he was nowhere near where he wanted to be with the white. That just completely threw him for a loop. 4 8 combination. That'll be next. There's a twist. He's going to have to wait a little while longer. <coughs> Slightly was a strange cue ball. This is very simple now for Roland. Still a bit of pressure though, knows he can't afford to miss. Otherwise it's over. Anything that could trip him up maybe. The nine ball. He has done twice before.
Making sure to leave a nice angle on this nine to get over for the ten. Mistake this time on the nine. Chapter to this. Yeah, a little bit more pool. Fans aren't ready to go home quite so early, and certainly neither is Roland. Still 3 1 in favor of Musician, but that 10 never looked out of the pocket. It's a long way back. The presentation party in Puerto Rico were premature. To wait also. Let's go back to the means open. Jessica Santino now on the hill in the second set, having won the first. Alison Fisher has lost the first set to Wan Ling Wang in Chinese Taipei. Olivia Zaluska, another pole, is. Three, two, up. So Roland needs a bit of luck. This break, dearly make a ball. Once again, though, it's dry, and there is a shot on the one. Yeah, hasn't that been the story? Garcia's break. But it's a very thin cut if it is available. Certainly you can get through to it. He's having a look to see how thin it is. As the saying goes, last rack always the most difficult to win. And that lovely. You can clear the pop in now, the two and the six, leaving the four wide open. And the three wide open. Surely this is it now, Jim. This is a big chance. His second look at the title. Got to hold his nerve. Another bite of the cherry. He can either get above or below this four, just personal preference. Oh dear, he's messed it up. Yeah, he may wish he'd elected to go below it. Well, a little bit more pool to be played yet. Like I said. His nerves must be tingling. Is that pure safety, Jim? Can he cross bank it to the side? Yeah, I don't know whether it comes with position, Mark. Yes, there it is. And he's got to make a real difficult five now. That was the only danger with that. In going after that bank, he knew he wasn't going to be able to get ideal position to the five, but he's got a chance. He looks calm, but I'm sure those nerves are jangling inside. This will be his first real biggest title yeah this one he's got to ensure to stay still just stroke it think about all those hours of practice stay still and put a nice clean stroke on this because this is the big shot right here oh it's there it's there Roland Garcia sat in his chair there hoping he might get one more chance. I'm really happy though for Conrad as well. He's been very close on a few occasions. He's played all of these. Oh, that was a bit of a nervy one. He's been so close. He's played in all of these events, or most of them, Jim. Yeah, so cool that whoever wins is going to be a first-time winner. And I mean, it isn't always the best player that wins, Mark, but it's the best player on the day. 
And now he must be feeling good inside. And hold up, it's perfect. So just roll this nine down the rail. Looks up, composes himself. And the ten into the same pocket for the title, Jim. And here it comes, he'll be feeling good. And I'm really, really happy for him. And a little bit sad as well for Roland Garcia also. He's played great all week, hasn't he? Yeah, it's been a great week for both players. And look at Musician right now, over the moon. He'll be celebrating later, but he's still got a team event, remember? But what a championship. Conrad. I hope he doesn't win later, Jim, because he's playing against England. I know mean, he's not playing in the teams, is he? He's not playing the teams. I don't think he is. So, we're going to be back, guys, with the presentation party. Jim White and myself, Mark White, thank you so much for watching. You will see your champion crowned right after a short break. Doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This temple to win the title. He is your champion. You world champion. champions Doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This temple to win the title. He is your champion. You will champion. Champions. Welcome back to Puerto Rico, where Conrad Musician will be crowned the 2023 Puerto Rican Open 10 Ball Men's Champion. Delighted. You can see the presentation party getting ready to hand him that check that won't quite fit in the luggage, but you know, we're going to be passing it over Welcome, right now. 
to the 20, 23, Medallia Lake. Let Dory Tempo Open Award Ceremony! <laughs> Held in conjunction with the Puerto Rico Billiard Expo here at the beautiful Puerto Rico Convention Center in San Juan. Before we proceed with the awards, let's take a moment to acknowledge and thank our partners and sponsors whose invaluable support has made the Puerto Rico Billiard Expo a reality and a huge success. The Puerto Rico Tourism Company, the Puerto Rico Convention Center District Authority, Rums of Puerto Rico, Discover Puerto Rico, Medallia Light, Popular, Guapo de Sportes, El Nuevo Dia, and Terra Suarez. <laughs> we also recognize our Pro Billiard Series partners, World Pool Billiard Association, Kamui, Kazoom, U.S. Pool League, BCA Pool League, and Fargo Rate. Our founding partners are the Predator Group and Q Sports International. A shout out to the Predator Group for providing the world class equipment we've seen in action all week. The Predator Apex Pro Pool Tables, Arcadia Performance Club. Arcos, Two Balls, and the Predator Arena Billiard Lights. Right now, I'd like to introduce our dignitaries for the awards presentation. Representing the Daily Light, Mr. Luis Demora. And representing the Predator Group, Mr. Karim our 2023 Medallion Light 10 Ball Champion is Mr. Conrad Eustacey! Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our trophy ceremony. A heartfelt thanks to, thank you again to all our sponsors, partners, and everyone involved in making this event a success. And especially to all of you out here watching the event that made this event extremely special. You have all made us feel like you came home and we're home and having a great time. Thank you very much for your hospitality. And join us tomorrow for the women's last date at 10 a.m., the semifinals at 2 p.m., and the finals well, we'll let John Lehman just finish with his announcements here. And uh, we want to thank all of you that tuned in for watching this event. We enjoyed it. We hope you certainly enjoyed it. There's still a couple more days of pool to come here from San Juan. But for the men's 
That event is through, and Conrad Musician, congratulations, and congratulations to Roland Garcia as well. Again, for Mark White. Mark, thank you very much for joining me. I'm Jim White. Folks, have a great night, and goodbye from San Juan. Doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. This temple to win the title. He is your champion. You will champion. Champions!